Yoda Koto Katoa. Guten Tag. Hello, greetings. My name is Patrick Flam and I am a senior lecturer in international relations at Te Hirangawaka, Victoria University of Wellington in Aotearoa, New Zealand. My research interest is in environmental geopolitics, especially in the Antarctic. The main challenge for the future of Antarctica is environmental change and its ramifications for global politics. You might have heard about Thwaites Glacier recently, sometimes called Doomsday Glacier in the media. If this glacier collapses, it alone would add 65 centimeters to global sea levels. The Antarctic is, is not far away. What happens there is a view into the future um, and has um, consequences for the rest of the planet. The message from Antarctica in this regard is clear. We need drastic climate justice now urgently. We do not want the Doomsday Glacier to collapse. Climate change is a public health threat that affects vulnerable populations, especially the poor. In 2017, International Organization for Migration highlighted that there has been little work done and attention on the impact of climate change as a risk factor on human trafficking. I urge the German government to help develop a climate risk index that could be used by UN member states to track and gauge their readiness for mitigating the risk against human trafficking. The German government can build upon the work being done by UNICEF on their children's climate risk index. We need evidence and data, and this work will go far towards uh, getting that. I train in Nunavut, Arctic Canada, with renowned polar explorers Matty McNair, who holds the world record for the fastest traverse to the North Pole, and her daughter Sarah McNair Landry, who in 07 was nominated for the National Geographic Adventure of the Year. My expedition and team and I were in Svalbard, Arctic Norway, April 2019, when the decision was taken to cancel the North Pole season for the first time in its entire history. I was so close to having embarked on my ski expedition to the North Pole and was forced to think about the consequences of our actions and how that's impacted the Arctic. It shook my world. My name is Diego Osorio. I'm an advisor on climate security and climate diplomacy. I'm based in Canada. I just wanted to say that uh, working on climate security is perhaps the most important thing that we need to engage in terms of the long term. Uh, humanity has unfortunately not used wisely the planet that is ours. And now it's taking us to a crunch point in which we're going to have to deal with the consequences of the misuse and overuse of our nature. In that context, the possibility of facing conflicts that are generated, fuel or uh, expanded because of climate situations and climate consequences is extremely high. And so we need to build on our resilience. Working on climate diplomacy and ensuring that uh, our systems, our institutions are able to face the challenges and the difficulties that we will be facing because of climate security problems is, is essential. This is something that for which we don't have a second chance. And so we need to get it right at once and in a preventive manner. Canada is also working on that, and I'm very, very much looking forward to have a very productive and a very uh, multi-layered collaboration with Germany. Thank you very much, and have a great day.